Dr. Slump was one of the most anticipated releases of this year, and its cast definitely didn't disappoint this time around. Kong Song Ha is one of them. She turns 32 this year and actually hasn't been in the industry for that long. You might remember her as the psychiatric doctor in Daily Dose of Sunshine, though. She made her first on-screen appearance in 2017 when she played a guest role in the film The Mayor. Ever since, she's been working her way up in the industry and even had her first lead role in The First Child. Before she started acting, she made sure to complete all her academic duties as she graduated from Chang'an University. In the past few years, she's mostly been playing supporting roles, so her role in Dr. Slump is actually her very first main role in a series, and she's doing an outstanding job. Of course, everyone is eager to know what her love life looks like in real life, but unfortunately, there's not much to report on. Song Ha seems like the mysterious type, as most details about her personal life are kept secret. She also hasn't been acting for that long, which is why she probably wants to keep a low profile. Next up is 36-year-old Yoon Park, who has has definitely intrigued viewers with his performance as Dae Young. He's been acting for quite some time now as he made his television debut in 2012. Did you know that he was a drummer before he became an actor though? Yes, you heard that right. He began his entertainment career as a drummer for the band Can't Play Well. Soon enough, he discovered his passion for acting and his career as a musician came to an end. Over the years, he's mostly been playing minor roles, but you might have seen him before in forecasting love and weather. His career has been pretty steady, but more exciting is his love life. In September of last year, he tied the knot to the famous model Kim Subin. In a handwritten letter released in May, Park revealed he would get married to the love of his life in the fall. At the time, he didn't reveal who this person was, but later on, the public found out he was talking about Subin. It's not clear when and how they met, but it turns out they've been dating for a very long time now. His agency then revealed the two would hold a private ceremony in Seoul, with only close friends and family attending. Their wedding was officially held on September 2nd in 2023, and it looked absolutely stunning. It seems like it was a star-studded event because the ceremony was hosted by Kwak Dong Yan. The couple even had the group 2AM performing a congratulatory song as the main event. Subin said thank you to everyone who attended and afterwards the newlyweds shared pictures of the ceremony itself and also posted their wedding pictorial. Judging from the pictures, it's safe to say the wedding was a success. A month after the wedding, Park opened up about his desire to start a family with his wife, which was another great news. Although he didn't disclose whether Subin is pregnant, he did say that they're ready for the next step in their journey together, which is having a child. Moving on, let's talk about the star of the show, Park Shin Hye. This year, she celebrated her 34th birthday, and she's looking as good as ever. What many might not know is that Shin Hye actually started her career as a child actress. She became famous in 2003 when she played the younger version of Choi Ji Woo's character in the extremely popular drama Stairway to Heaven. Before she went on television, she starred in some of Lee Seung Hwan's music videos. He saw a lot of potential in her, so he got her to start training in singing, dancing, and acting under his supervision. In other words, she was always bound to become a big star. She had her big breakthrough in 2013, which is when she starred in the film Miracle in Cell Number no. 7. This became one of the highest grossing films in Korea, making her one of the most sought after actresses. It was only up from there because after this, she starred in the heirs, which earned her an insane amount of fame and recognition. Although it's been over a decade, her role as Yoon Sang is still iconic. She hasn't only been thriving in her professional life because she's just as successful when it comes to finding love. Her love story with fellow actor Choi Tae Joon is definitely one straight out of a romance novel. The two both debuted as child actors, so they had something to bond over, but surprisingly enough, they didn't even meet through work. They actually crossed paths for the first time during their time at university. Eventually, fate led them to meet again on on the set of The King of Dramas, where they played two lovers who were involved in a tragic car accident. Viewers just couldn't get enough of their chemistry, and it seems like they couldn't get enough of each other because shortly after that encounter on set, they were spotted multiple times together. They were spotted at a park, at an aquarium, and even on vacation, but their relationship wasn't confirmed yet. When Shin Hye was asked about it, she said, I date in secret. I don't think there's really a need to date publicly. I think it's necessary to separate personal matters from professional matters. Then in 2018, their relationship was confirmed after Dispatch aired their business to the public. Shin Hye's label explained that at first they were really good friends, but as time progressed, their friendship turned into something more. In 2021, Shin Hye hit two birds with one stone as she shared both her marriage plans and her pregnancy. In an adorable letter to his fans, Taejun talked about his wife and wrote, She is like a savior to me who taught me without words to smile brightly when I'm happy and to cry out loud when I'm sad. Now we would like to make our marriage vows 
vows and let this love that I'm grateful for bear fruit. Shin Hye tied the knot to him in January of 2022 and their wedding was absolutely stunning. In May of 2022, they became parents of a baby boy and it looks like they'll live happily ever after. Now on to the 32-year-old Park Young-shik who's completely stolen the show with his role as Jong Woo. Young-shik probably never thought he'd end up in the acting scene because he used to train to become a musician when he was little. He made his acting debut in the music video of Date by Jewelry S. He then debuted as a member of Gia in 2010, but realized that acting was up his league as well. He too starred in The Airs, which is where he met Shin Hye for the first time. This year, the two had their first on-screen reunion in 11 years, which is absolutely adorable. Despite having been in the industry for a very long time, Young Shik has actually never publicly dated anyone. He's been involved in quite a few dating rumors though, especially after he starred in Strong Girl Bong Soon. Both the public and the crew of the drama believed there was something going on between him and Park Bo Young. They played each other's love interest, but fans were convinced that their on-screen chemistry extended beyond the series. Young Shik has a way of making eye contact that could definitely make people fall in love. In an interview, he confessed that his strong gaze even led to the cast believing that he and Bong Soon had a secret romantic relationship. It turns out they were just good colleagues though, but they definitely almost had us all fooled. At the end of last year, Hyung Shik also found himself embroiled in dating rumors with Espa's Giselle. On December 28th, someone made a post on an online forum claiming that Giselle and Hyung Shik would be Dispatch's New Year's couple, according to a Japanese article. This article claimed that the two were romantically involved and that they were even spotted together on multiple occasions. Many netizens didn't buy it and labeled the rumor as fake news. Others also claimed that Hyung Shik was way out of her league, so this rumor couldn't be true. The rumors were never confirmed or denied so we'll have to wait and see whether Hyung Shik has found the one. But as of now, it seems like he's dating privately and doesn't really want to disclose any of his romantic feelings to the public. At the end of the day, it's his privacy and he's rather protective of it, which is completely normal. Last up is Oh Dong Min, who will turn 38 years old this year. Dong Min actually had a pretty unique upbringing because he grew up in many different countries. His parents were diplomats, so he had to move countries every few months. At first, it didn't seem like having a career in acting was in the cards for him since his parents really wished he'd follow in their footsteps. Although he majored in public administration, he felt more drawn to acting after joining a drama club. One thing led to the other, and now he's established himself as a very reliable actor in the indie film scene. It's safe to say that Dong Min has found his true calling in life, but he hasn't found the love of his life yet. Back in 2020, people believed he had finally found his perfect match, as he was embroiled in dating rumors with fellow actress John Soman. These rumors were sparked after Dong Min posted a picture with her on his Instagram only to end up deleting it. Soman's agency put these rumors to rest when they wrote, Fans have been spreading dating rumors among themselves, but these rumors are false. We have confirmed with Jun so Min that they are just friends. Dong Min is still as single as ever, but who knows, maybe he'll find love soon. We wouldn't be surprised as he's definitely a handsome man.